So yes, Sora. First of all, introduce yourself before entering into the snap of earthquake design. Yes, sir. Uh, my name is Sora Harishankar Yadav, and I come from Mumbai, Maharashtra. I have done my schooling till class twelfth in Mumbai, and I have just completed my bachelor's in engineering in civil engineering from Birla Institute of Technology and Science, Pilani, with a distinction. And my as a part of summer training, I did my internship with Indira Gandhi Center for Atomic Research, Kalpaka, in twenty twenty. and my final year project is titled reliability based mix design for marble dust incorporated concrete what is epicenter yes sir uh, when the earthquake takes place uh, where when the uh, when the the center of the earthquake where the fault, where the faults collide and where the earthquake actually takes place if that point is projected on the surface of the earth that the projection on the surface is known as epicenter Oh. So generally, uh, in earthquake design, uh, we generally just uh, take clause that regular structures behave better in earthquake as compared to irregular structures. So, what did it mean, regular structure or irregular structure? Yes, sir. Uh, regular structures uh, have a regular geometry that is standard uh, square ones or circular ones or pentagon or. Or uh, or hexagon with all sides similar, whereas uh, the irregular uh, irregular structures are the ones which have a quite a haphazard shape and not of the standard sizes. So uh, what happens is that in irregular structures we have uh, twisting a tendency of twisting of the plan. So that's why we prefer regular structures. Okay. What is the meaning of mass irregularity? Mass irregularity. Yes, sir. uh when uh, if we see the various diaphragms or the slabs and if uh, one of the slab has uh, a, a variation in a bigger variation in mass compared to adjacent slabs then that is known as the mass variation mass irregularity okay fine what is the difference between magnitude and intensity of earthquake yes uh magnitude we basically define by uh, various scales such as where we take the uh, such as a richter scale where we take the logarithm of the intensity and whereas intensity is defined by the uh, by the acceleration and the amplitude of the waves caused by the earthquake anything else you just want to add uh, magnitude what is the magnitude what is मैग्नेट्यूड में वेरी और इट इज ऑलवेज कॉन्स्टेंट Uh, sir, it may vary also because if uh, where we measure the earthquake is also uh, like where we take the measurements from the seismogram, uh, seismograph that also will depend upon the value. And magnitude can be negative also because it is a logarithm as mentioned. Magnitude can also be negative. Okay, fine. so any idea suppose we have a uh, tall buildings and we have short buildings so tall buildings are behaving like uh, what type of uh, structure and short buildings are behaving like what type of structure if you're talking about the earthquake design uh, sir your voice is actually a little low okay uh, if we talk about tall buildings yes sir and short buildings and we have to design them for uh, yes. earthquake design so what do you think tall buildings behaves like what type of structure uh well if we say tall buildings tend to behave uh, in a ductile manner uh, mm -hmm. and and shorter one and shorter ones uh, uh, are not so ductile but uh, both the buildings are uh, but both of them have their own advantages like they like uh, if you have a shorter building and a taller building then they are still better than a building in a medium range because it will suffer more damage and the top building will behave better yeah, what is in uh, rigid structures and flexible structures uh, which one are more prone to the earthquake uh, sir rigid structures are more prone to damage okay and reason why 
Yes, yeah. yeah, sir. Because if we see the uh, the graph of the uh, of the force being applied, then if then if if the structure is rigid and uh, behaves in an elastic, rigid manner, then the force continuously increases with the applied force. Uh, the the uh, the lateral load increases with the applied force. Whereas in the flexible structures, there is a scope for dissipation, and therefore they are uh, they face lesser lateral loads. Okay, suppose if we talk about bridge, yes. then uh, what is the thing that we use in bridges for this uh, earthquake uh, waves or seismic waves to tackle the earthquake wave or seismic waves? What uh, special precautions we are taking in the bridges? In bridges. Uh, yes, sir. in bridges uh, above the column and where the girder is resting, we uh, we place damp uh, we place dampeners so that the uh, so that the lateral loads are reduced on the girders and the effects are uh, dissipated by the dampers. And apart from that, uh, we also we also ensure that we place uh, lateral bracings. In the components of the bridges, so that the lateral loads, which are coming despite the dampers, are resisted uh, well, and we also take care that there is no resonance in the bridges, and, uh, and that and these are the precautions which we take. Okay, so can we say that the tile structure behaves uh, good in earthquake region as compared to brittle structures? Yes, sir. The tile. Okay, then how can you uh, increase the ductility of the structure, the ways yes, in which you can enhance? Yes, so that can be done if we provide the ductile detailing of the reinforcement bars, and that will help. So, what does it mean, ductile detailing? What you are considering in ductile detailing? Yes, so in ductile detailing, uh, what we ensure is that we have a set of rules such as uh, we we will ensure that for the. Yes, Yes, uh, so that uh, what what we ensure in the ductile detailing is that we will provide reinforcements on the positive face and the negative uh, face as well, and we have certain guidelines such as we will provide two bars on both the bottom face and the top face, and this is to ensure that uh, the uh, that in if the load is taking is applied in any direction, there is no much cracking of the concrete and the steel is present. There. So this will ensure a ductile behavior. Okay. Anything else? Which steel you prefer for earthquake resisting buildings? Uh, for ductile ductility. Uh, sir, so for ductility, we also ensure that in in earthquake structures, the uh, if the soil is weak, then instead of isolated footings, we will also have uh, tie beams between the various footings, so that uh, uh, it behaves as a coherent structure. And we also provide your so about steel. About steel, what do you think? What yes, type sir. of steel you will prefer for the earthquake uh, resisting buildings or earthquake uh, resisting steel design? Uh, sir, we will go for FE two fifty because it has more ductility. Okay, and what about the shear reinforcement? Uh, yes, sir. We will we'll provide uh, the shear reinforcements also in like in the shear walls or in the beams. So earlier you were saying uh, regarding the footing. Can you continue that one? Yes, sir. Uh, so in footing, uh, if you, what I was saying that uh, we will ensure that the soil is weak, and then we will uh, provide the uh, tie beams between the uh, various columns, so, uh, between the various footings, so that they are not isolated. And we will also ensure that the n value of the beneath soil. For zone two is not less than ten, and if it is higher, then we will go for minimum of n value of fifteen, and uh, and we will uh, provide all the detailing uh, ductile reinforcements. Okay, what is the maximum uh, value of that moment uh, which uh, we can re redistribute in this moment redistribution method that is permitted in the system? Sir, any idea that value? Uh, which value, sir? Your voice. Moment redistribution that is yes, permitted sir. in the RCC structure. Yes, sir. That value basically I want to. Uh, in moment resisting, I, uh, it is thirty percent for the uh, uh, for 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 the reinforced concrete structures. What did it mean? Thirty percent moment redistribution. Uh, yes, sir. So what we ensure is uh, 
it means that uh, when we are taking the uh, uh, let's say if uh, if there is a failure of the slab then there can be chances that the uh, cracks may be taking place for the bend uh, and bending may take place so uh, if uh, if one if there is a crack at one particular section of a slab then if there is redistribution then uh, we will we, uh, then we can make use of its reserve strength also so that is meant by momentary distribution okay can you tell me right now india is divided into earthquake zones that number yes uh we are four zones from zone 2 to zone 5 okay what is soft story yes sir uh soft story is uh we define a particular story as soft story if it's uh, slab just uh, if it if the strength of that slab is less than 80% of the uh, slab just above it or less than 70% of the average of the strength of the three slabs above it then that slab is considered as soft story are you sure 70% of average of three story above or 80% uh, the 70% of the above and 80% of the three okay what is this a lateral stiffness uh, lateral stiffness uh yes so that is the resisting property of the of the diaphragm and the structures against the lateral forces what is this uh, importance factor yes sir uh, important structures uh, while designing we take uh, we take in, uh, we take a factor for safety uh, a factor which we multiply while calculating the base shear forces so the important structures such as the schools and the radio radio stations and railway stations and all essential buildings are given a higher factor of 1.5 and these buildings which are required to be more safe in case of uh, earthquake or other or in earthquake or other related uh, damages then those buildings with higher safety factor as important structures okay so on what things this important factor depends yes sir uh, ma- mainly it uh, depends upon the classification or the the strategic importance of the structure because in case of an earthquake if the residential buildings collapse but uh, then uh, but like in a earthquake if there are more important structures let's say the water tank of a of a housing colony collapses then it will uh, then it will create negative effect for all the remaining residential structures regardless of whether they are standing or not so these essential structures such as the water tank and the railway stations and uh and the uh, schools these are uh, on their importance they are classified as important on the strategic importance Yes, sir. Actually, I think you left the meeting. Yes, sorry. Yes, sir. Actually, uh, there was some uh, internet issue. Uh, yes, sir. Now activity. it's okay. So I think uh, right now I can provide feedback to you because two thirty we have mock also. Yes, sir. Yes. So uh, important factor that is fine. Uh, one more factor is there. That is zone factor. Have a look on that one, sorry. Yes, sir. Okay. But so, so that will be okay, regardless. Uh, of I didn't that. ask about the zone factor. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Zone factor basically depending upon the earthquake zones. Like yes, we have the low, moderate, severe, very severe. On the basis of that, we have the uh, this zone factor value, like zero point one or zero point one six, like that one. Fine. Yes, sir. So, uh, best of things uh, from the this uh, design of buildings as per the earthquake criteria is fine, basically. You have. Uh, This is knowledge of the earthquake. Ah, uh, sir, your own. Breaking. Ah, uh, yes, sir. 
sort of have a look on the soft story soft story it is also dealing with the lateral stiffness and the sum of lateral stiffness is, is generally less than the 70% that what we have the above story and if we taking the average of the three story above it so this is kind of a lateral stiffness average so what is okay, okay, actually I, i got confused with the mass one yes yes let us talk fine and uh, we yes. have the frames without infills and frame with infills so which one having higher lateral resistance of course uh, frame with infill so yes. that also participate so even you have to include that one also what i asked earlier and regarding this uh, maximum movement that we can redistribute and allow in rcc structure is what 30% yes okay so what is the 30% redistribution so have a look on that one what is the movement that we have at a particular slab level so 30% of that we can distribute to the lower level not higher level to the lower level generally a uh, lower level Mm-hmm. lower level so in case of suppose if we have to maintain the overall ductility so with respect to the footing that you are saying so what we are doing we are just making the foundation strong but a weak superstructure hmm. or strong column but weak beam there is some uh, criteria we have right if we want the structure with minimum damage so what can we do with respect to the overall ductility behavior so what we are doing we are making the foundation strong and the structure above the foundation that is kind of super structure super structure or column and beam strong column and weak beams are there okay. these are the criteria basically similarly yes. if we have to enhance the ductility so what we can do we uh, just decreasing the percentage tensile reinforcement so meaning to say that we are going with the under reinforce section uh So you can just increase the compression steel okay uh, so okay. we use both tensile and compression or reinforcement both hmm. don't use much steel in the tension zone the extra requirement of the steel in the tension zone you are just putting it in the compression zone okay okay so we will not okay. use the tensile reinforcement but uh, more the comp- uh, the compressive jyada yes, yes. Okay. yes aapko ye bolna ki hum kya karenge percentage jo tensile reinforcement hoga usko kam karenge अच्छा अच्छा इन सारों कम करेंगे फाइन ये सर फाइन एंड वी आर इंक्रीजिंग द कंप्रेशन रिन्फोर्समेंट वी आर इंक्रीजिंग बेसिकली इंक्रीज इन कंप्रेशन स्टील इज आल्सो देयर ये सर एंड रेदर देन दिस टीएमटी बार सीआरएस बार और व्हाट वी हैव इन मार्केट सो वी विल प्रीफर दिस माइल स्टील इट्स द मोस्ट डक्टाइल अमंगस ऑल काइंड ऑफ स्टील प्रेजेंट इन द मार्केट ये सर थिंग इज दैट वी हैव टू प्रोवाइड द हुक्स or bends at the end of the bar that is kind of wastage so definitely uh, you have to uh, take care of the wastage of steel so with the respect to the bbs bar bend which you and uh, don't forget the stirrups so 135 yeah. degree angle generally mm, yes, this building is a big existing building then 135 degree angle of bend is mandatory yes okay so overall uh, it is okay that you told to me regarding your ask quick engineering that is fine basically. so yes one more thing magnitude so magnitude yeah. for a given aspect is always constant sort of acha acha okay as quick uh, if you talk about the magnitude basically there is a size of earthquake so, for example eight magnitude earthquake is there so from where it is originating right okay within the earth that is kind of focus and just we are projecting vertically above the ground surface it is kind of epicenter so if right. we move away from that point so what will happen intensity will decrease okay but magnitude will always remain same it will never decrease constant for a given aspect magnitude is constant for a given aspect intensity varies basically yes sir okay yes sir so overall that is fine theek hai aapko thoda sa aapko आर्किटेक्ट बिल्डिंग का डिजाइन एक बार क्लॉजेस आपने चेक कर लेना बिल्डिंग बाय लॉज भी आप देख लो यस सर यस सर 